Shaka Community Church family with pleasure would love to inform you that we'll start premiering our midweek online series called Morning Dew. Our pastoral team has prepared an amazing message just for you. This series will run every Wednesday from 6.30 to 7 a.m. Don't miss out on this amazing and wonderful experience to kickstart your day. We would love to keep in fellowship with you, grow together spiritually, and pray for you. Ishaka Community Church, connecting people to their destiny. Yes. Happy New Year 2023. What a beautiful morning of 4th Wednesday, the first Wednesday in this year 2023 and the first morning due in 2023. Uh, I want to congratulate you again upon reaching this year and I know greater and greater things are going to happen in this year. I know the Lord is going to be with us and the Lord is going to do miraculous signs and wonders for our lives. Twelve months ahead of us, we need the presence of God to be with us day and night. As we talked about it last Wednesday of 28th, last year, even today we want to expound more and more into this presence of God to be with us. You know, at a certain point, the children of Israel also were moving and they made mistakes along the way. The Lord told them, I am not going with you. At least I will assign you an angel because you are stiff-necked. As it is in uh, Exodus 33, I think verse 2. And I will send an angel before you and I will drive out the Canaanites, the Amorite, the Hittite, the Perizzite, the Hivite, Hivite and the Jebusites. I will enter a land flowing with milk and honey, for I will not go up in the midst of you, for you are a stiff necked people, lest I consume you in the way. And this is what Moses said. And Moses said, verse 14, my, uh, and he said, the Lord said, again, my presence shall go with you, and I'll give you rest. 15. And he said unto him, Moses, this is Moses saying unto him, If your presence go not with me, carry us not up from here or up hence. Do not take us from here. I wonder why Moses didn't settle for an angel. I wonder why Moses pleaded for the presence of God and he said, I rather lose everything and stay here and forget about the promise the promised land unless you go with me because friends we may reach our promises in quotes but until when we reach there with God they may become a snare to us you know we've seen many people who have built houses but they failed dwell in their houses because they didn't go with the builder of houses. We've seen many people who want to get in marriage. I want to marry. I want a wife. I want a husband. No matter where this person is from as long as I get in the marriage. But let me tell you, when they reach their marriage becomes a hell on earth. Why? Because the presence of God is not in that marriage. The same applies to this year. As we are trekking this year, I want us our prayer to be God, if you don't go with me in this year, I'd rather stop here because life is meaningless without you. Life is meaningless without you, Jesus. Life, I may drive a car but once I don't have you, Jesus, the car may crush me, may kill me. I, I may build a house, but if you are not with me, I may build a church. We have a church, but once we are in a church and the presence of God is not there, the church may be like a disco hall. Music is there. Good voices are there. 
but this notch of the presence of God is missing. This morning, before we leave, I want us to plead unto God. Thank God it's the beginning of the year. God, go with me, not with us. You know, I loved here how Moses put it. Uh, he said, and he said, and he said, verse 15, if your presence does not go with me as a leader, as a man who had the, 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 the mantle to carry the children of God from one level to another, he said, if it doesn't go with me, not with us, but with me. You know, the presence of God is personal. You need you as a person to have the presence of God. You as you. Because this journey of life, we are not moving it as a group. We are moving it as individuals. This year, 2023, we are going through it as individuals, not as a group, not as a family, not as a church, not as a, 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 a community, but you personally. That's why at this moment, I want you to ponder how have you gone through 2022? Did you have the presence of God at a certain moment? Or at a certain point you missed? And mark this, at a time when the presence of God is questionable, or when you don't feel the presence of God, the devil will come and take over to feel that. The devil will come and say, you see God has abandoned you, you see you are alone, you see you can't go through, you see you can't make it. And, and I want us to pray this prayer, Lord, I want to feel your presence at any one time. Even when the surrounding circumstances are telling me, God is not there, I want to be convinced that you are there. I am convincing my mind that this year, day and the night, you are going to be there with me. It's not all about completing a year. It's not all about celebrating birthdays. But every activity I want to do it with you. Every celebration I want to be with you. You know as a church, every day we have some events. We have the anniversary. We have the Easter production. We have the worship night. We have the uh, uh, the cantata as we are ushering in, in the coming Messiah. But let me tell you folks, unless the presence of God is in such events and the other services on Sunday, then we are wasting time. Life without the presence of God is a wastage of time. You know, also, why am I concerned? And Moses said, ah, ah, ah. Well, I mean, God said, my presence shall go with thee and I will give you rest. My presence in the form of an angel. But Moses said, I don't settle for an angel. I don't settle for a miracle. I don't settle for this one item. I don't settle for this one miracle you did the last year. I don't settle for this one promise. No, I want to feel you. I want to be with you. You know, most of us who have who are married, you, you feel like you, 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 your wife, you should have your wife beside you. Or when you don't know where your wife is, you make a call, where are you? You make a call, please, where are you? I don't, are you okay? And I think this should be part of us, that when you feel that you are alone, you feel the presence of God is not there. It is that time when you should say, Lord, where are you? Lord, I feel I'm lonely. Lord, feel that gap where I'm lonely. Because I fear to launch out when I am alone. I fear to go the next step when I'm alone. The reason why this conversation is coming in the light, because the children of God had rebelled, you know, in chapter 32, they had created a calf, they had made a calf, and they made that calf to be like God when Moses had gone to pick the 40, I mean, to God had gone for 40 days to pick the, ten, the commandments, the 10 commandments. And when he came, he found them worshiping the calf. 
What takes the presence of God? One, the decision is you make. The sins you do. God, our God is a holy God. The moment you feel like you've gone astray with God, you've gone contrary to his will, he can't strive with you. For him, he stays aside. The reason why the presence of God was felt like he's not there, because they had sinned, they had replaced him with an idol. Which idol do you have in your life? What thing takes your life? Can you do away with all the idols in this year? And make it a point to have godly stuff. Make it a point to be in God's word. Make it a point to have fellowship with the people of God every Sunday, every weekly, weekly fellowship. Make it a point to sing godly hymns, godly songs, gospel music. Make it a point not to give the devil an opportunity to encroach on the presence of God. You know, every spiritual discipline brings the presence of God in abundance to you. And the moment we go astray, for sure, the presence of God will be dented and we, we feel we are lonely. So this year, as we are moving, can you purpose, on top of your resolutions, can you purpose to be a reader of the word of God on a daily basis? Can you purpose to listen to that gospel music at least one every day? Can you purpose that no matter how busy you'll be, every Sunday you'll go to church? Can you purpose to surrender Every weakness you have unto God, can you purpose to surrender that weakness, that addiction? You know, the year is new. God expects you to be new. If you want to look at new things in your life, let me tell you, child of God, you need to remove that old garment. You need to remove that old wine skins that the Lord may pour into the new things this year. You know, we are anticipating a lot. We are expectant. The Lord is going to move mightily in this year. But it may end in words only. Until when you are set in a position where the presence of God will meet you and then he adds more value on you. It is so appalling, child, children of God, that to end a year without nothing, without any testimony, just eating and going to the toilet, ending the year without looking back and say, for sure, the Lord has added this on me. For sure, the same way I began this year is not the same way I am. I feel I'm growing towards the presence of God. I feel I'm growing as a great person. I feel I'm grounded in the word. I began by not reading the Bible, but now I can read. What are you purposing to achieve? Most of us will put some, I want to build a house, I want to go to America, I want to this and this, but spiritually, have you purposed to set an agenda? for your spiritual growth. You know, when God promised, and God, our God is a promiser, when he told Moses, I will give you rest when we go to Joshua, Joshua 21, 44, and the Lord gave them rest around about, according to all that he swore unto their fathers. And there stood no man, and there stood no a man of all their enemies before them. The Lord delivered all their enemies unto their, end, unto their hands. Hmm? Can you read it again? Joshua 21, 44. The Bible said, And the Lord gave them rest round about, according all that he saw unto their fathers. And they stood no a man of all their enemies before them. For the Lord delivered all their enemies unto their hands. And verse 4 in chapter 22 of Joshua, the Bible says, And now the Lord God has given rest unto your brethren, that was Joshua charging them, as he promised them. Therefore now return ye 
and get you and your tents and unto the land of your possession, which Moses, the servant of the Lord, gave you on the other side of Jordan. So what does it mean that when the presence of God went with them, one, he gave them their, he gave them rest, two, he gave them their promises, which was their land, and three, he delivered all their enemies into their hands. Not only some enemies, but all their enemies were delivered into their hands. You know, at the end of the year, I see whichever enemy who was going against you, you look back in January and you say, for sure, the Lord has delivered all my enemies into my hands. For sure, what I was struggling with, I have conquered this addiction which I was struggling with. Well, I was in lack, but the Lord has provided abundantly and bountifully in 2023. Why? Because his presence was with me. And I've seen the Lord fulfilling every promise. No failing, no sickness, nothing has come my way. No tragedy. Because the presence, you know where the presence of God is, the enemies can't stand. Where the presence of God is, no tragedy, no accident, no death in the name of Jesus. Where the presence of God is, you can reach out to people and people come to Jesus. You can pray for your loved ones and loved ones may accept Jesus. How I pray this year, the presence of God will go with you, will lead you, will go and bring your enemies down unto your foot. Because that's why we need God. You know, more I mean Joshua by speaking this he was a witness he saw he was there in Exodus 33 when Moses was pleading for the presence of God he was he was there when all the enemies they entered into Canaan the promised land and they overcame every enemy they killed every enemy who was against them not because they were powerful not because they were great not because they outnumbered. In fact, some kingdoms, six nations came together to fight Israel. But they overcame them. The presence of God will make you to overcome every enemy. No matter how numerous they are. No matter where they are. No matter how loaded. You know, sometimes demons may come in big numbers to destroy you. But you know, the Bible says, when the enemy raises the dust, the Spirit of the Lord will do what? Will raise the standard. Now I pray this year that the Spirit of God will lift you up from that dust, will lift you up from that failure. For the presence of God is going to challenge every person. And don't settle for less. Don't settle for less this year. In the name of Jesus. So I want to charge you, every listener, someone watching this, someone listening unto this, pray that, Lord, go with me this year. Go with me 2023. Go with me, O God. Go with me, O Lord. Go with me, Lord. Not any day can I miss you. I know they are enemies, my God. Enemies, personal enemies spiritual enemies, physical enemies, enemies of my families, my God, enemies of my children, enemies which are willing to destroy us. But your presence will smite all of them. Your presence will take us from one level to another. We may begin simple. We may begin when they, were, they are laughing at us. At the end of the year, God, your presence will challenge everything challenging me. Your presence will make a way where there seems to be no way. Your presence will attract 
blessings to us. We thank you, Lord. You know, as this year we are praying and fasting in the 40 days of prayer and fasting, may the presence of God go with us. In fact, you may join us as we are fasting. You may join us as we are praying. You may join us as we invoke the presence of God. We want to begin strong. We want to see the hand of God upon us, upon this church, but also upon me individually. We want to see those hard iron, bronze, whatever doors being opened for us to walk through. Amen. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless you. See you again. Amina. <laughs>